The geometric model for this problem is a right triangle in which the height from the fishing rod to the water is 10 feet. The length of the fishing line is X and the angle formed by the fishing line and the water is theta. What is given? Well, besides the height that's 10 feet, we have the rate of change of the line, the x dt. Since the fish is being wheeled in, we're going to say it's negative one foot per second. Also, a particular value of the fishing line, that particular value is when x is equal to 20, 25 feet and we are being asked to find d theta dt the rate at which the angle formed by the wad and the water changes with respect to time now sine theta will allow us to get x sine is opposite over hypotenuse so it's 10 over x instead of cross multiplying we're going to say that sine theta is equal to 10 times 1 over x which is 10 times and 1 over x is x to the negative 1 Let's take the derivative of both sides. The derivative of sine theta is cosine theta d theta dt, chain rule. And the derivative of 10 x to the negative 1 is negative 1 times 10 x to the negative 1 minus 1, which is negative 2 dx dt we have a particular x that's 25 feet dx dt is given that's negative one foot per second we're being asked d theta dt and we do not know cosine theta we go back to the geometric model we have a height of 10 feet we also have a line of 25 which is the hypotenuse so we are looking for the base a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared therefore 10 squared plus b squared is equal to 25 squared 100 plus b squared is equal to 6 25. When we subtract 100 from both sides, we get b squared equal to 525, which is really 25 times 21. Therefore, b is equal to the square root of 25 times the square root of 21. 5 square root of 21. And this is the exact value of b of the base so now this is the adjacent side we can calculate cosine theta and cosine theta is adjacent over hypotenuse therefore cosine theta is equal to 5 square root of 21 divided by 25 Cosine theta is equal to square root of 21 over 5 when we simplify it by 5. Let's just substitute these values in our formula to get d theta dt. Cosine theta is equal to square root of 21 over 5. d theta dt is equal to negative 1 times 10 
and x to the negative 2 is 1 over x squared. So we will divide by x squared, which is 25 squared times dx dt, which is negative 1. Square root of 21 over 5 d theta dt. And negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Therefore, we end up with 10 over 25 squared, which is 625. We're going to multiply both sides by the reciprocal of square root of 21 over 5 to get d theta dt and clean up after. So d theta dt is equal to, well, we can cross cancel and 5 goes into itself once and into 625, 125 times, times square root of 21. And 10 is 2 times 5, so we divide by 5, we get 2. We divide 125 by 5, we get 25. So the final answer is 2 over 25 times square root of 21, which could be rationalized when we multiply it by square root of 21 over square root of 21. And this is the value found in your book, 2 square root of 21 over 525 radians per second. Now, when you use a calculator, this value is approximately 0 0.017 radian per second.